Welcome back. We're in my favorite part of any store. They don't appear to have a lot. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, go. Every single day I'll be making moves Till I'm buried in my grave uh, To the system I don't wanna be a slave I've been doing shit my way uh, On the highway And in the driveway Is a nice range Cause I've gone through the climb I invite pain You never hear me bitch Nah, I don't complain Just gotta flip the switch And you can go and obtain Anything you want Anything you need Your mind's got the key ingredient It's belief uh, They deceive with the negativity But I just slide right by Slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answered a no, man, I still go Go, 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 You got a mind, but even that Change. You can flip the gray matter like some batter in your brain. Uh, that's why I say, fake it till you make it, eh? And if you play that game, then you just might make a change. Rearrange all the bad to okay. Take the worst I say and turn them to a game. Take the best I say and put them on display. On repeat in your brain till you're feeling no more pain. Uh, never slow yourself down, you can do some more. Push that stuff. So, what I'm doing now is adjusting the camera. What I'm doing now, I just have uh, some new line. I had some spider wire on my bait caster, and although that's really nice line, um, I wasn't having much luck with it, and I think it's because the fish can see it. <laughs> I think it's um, it's a dark line. Anyway. A lot of the water I've been fishing is quite clear, so I am going to switch my spider wire, which I already took off, for a 20 pound test clear um, and try that and see if I have any more luck with the bait caster. I finally got it dialed in to where I can actually use it fairly decently. I thought it was garbage. Turns out I just didn't really know how to use this, which shouldn't be a shock. I've used uh, spinning reels my entire life. Um, bought this probably, I want to say three years ago, an Abu Garcia um, bait caster. Fairly nice. I think I'd spent like 120 on it or something when I got it. Um, but I just couldn't figure it out. And it was driving me nuts, so I just never used it. Um, and then I started watching some other videos of some other YouTubers and realized that my pain was not in vain. Everyone has that problem. And it's because I wasn't dialed in yet, meaning I didn't have everything set properly. And I was just assuming that it was just because I didn't know how to do it. So after some trial and error the other day I managed to get it to the point where I was actually able to use it quite nicely um, and I was able to go and cast probably twice as far as I could with my spinner cast so yeah I'm gonna reline this with some new line Oops on the ground and try that and see what happens so while I'm tying this because this is the part that always frustrates me I'm going to turn this off so you don't hear me cursing so 
Something else I'm going to do a little bit different that I haven't been doing. Um, I mean, one, I bought some bait, so we'll have some bait, but um, I haven't been much for the spinner baits. Uh, and we actually tried some this weekend, and we had a lot of luck. Um, it was actually one of the only things that was really getting a lot of action. Uh, the spinner baits were getting a lot of a lot of hits. Um, I did have a couple of other styles. I had a couple poppers, a couple rattlers. I was trying a little bit, but nothing was really getting the hits like the uh, the spinner bait was. So I went and picked up a couple of cheap ones. Um, I went out to Canadian Tire, which is just down the road. Um, their selection was, let's just say, not great. <laughs> so what I'm going to go with this time is a white with some red uh, spinnerbait. Tie this on and give this a try today and see what happens. Um, the one we were using this weekend was as well a white and red. Uh, it was a little bit better. It was uh, it was actually one I bought at um, Fast Pro, and it was a little bigger too. But uh, they did not have anything like that today. So unfortunately, I'm going to tie this on to try it. It was cheap anyway, it was only like six bucks or something, six or seven dollars. Um, and see what kind of action we get today with it. If it's good, then I will probably go back out to Bass Pro and purchase some more of them. Uh, like the ones we had on the weekend. And uh, see what kind of action we can get with that. The only reason I don't have that one is I actually... <laughs> My father did uh, was doing so well with it. I felt bad. I just I left him keep it. <laughs> I didn't I didn't think it would do anything. Honestly, I've never used them before. I bought it. Well, actually, my wife bought it because she thought she'd like to try it. I had never used one, so I didn't even know how to tie it on to be honest. And uh, anyway, he said he would try it, so he tied it on and had nothing but success so after that he i said you might as well keep it i'll just go up and get some more not not a big deal to me i live close to bass pro i just don't feel like driving over there today um and we'll get a couple more of them if it goes well so like i said we're, we'll try these ones today see how these do And then I'll judge from there. I also am not that good at tying on, which is another reason why I, I don't normally do it. I used to use a lot of, um, I guess, they're probably made for kids, to be honest. It's probably like getting stuff on and off easily. But they're very big and bulky. Um, and quite honestly, they probably scare the fish. Um, so I'm going to try just tying on just directly and see if between that and the line change, if we can get, oh yeah, that, that works good. See if we can get any different action today. When she, when the wife gets off work, I'm going to pick her up, come home, get changed. Well, she'll get changed. I'll just go the way I am. Um, and we'll go out to a couple of lakes up here in Halifax and just give them a try and see what we find. There, that one's all ready to go. So the next time you see me, I'll either be cursing or I'll be tying a different one on or <sighs> look how beautiful it is outside right now. It's so sunny you can't even see out there. Um, I'll be fishing <laughs> and I can't wait. Yeah, look at that right there. 
Might be worth a cast. Uh oh. I could cast on the other side of it, I guess. Like I brought those two in just by going along the rock right here. Mm -hmm. They were probably hot. Oh. So that was a bust. We didn't catch anything but little, which now I'll have to edit out. Just lots of rockfish. Beautiful though. Nice spot. The little fish were fun, but we're looking for some actual action. So we're gonna pack up and head somewhere else. Big old school of minnows. Must be a thousand easily. 
crazy how many bait fish are in this place. Like there's thousands along all the shores here. Everywhere I go, it's like the water's boiling. It's insane. Look at them all coming through the rocks. It's crazy. And they're just as bad over there. Like the water's boiling with them over there. There's got to be tens of thousands of minnows in here. The reason I came is somebody had told me years ago about trout fishing here. I don't know what it is. I don't know what these minnows are. But if this is a good trout lake, then there's a lot of spawn. Ugh. So it's a good thing I hit record on that one. She said, want to take a video of me casting into the minnows? I'm like, yeah. And then she immediately casts into a tree. I guess I'm going to retrieve that. So the spinner baits were a success. <laughs> uh, just trying to cross the water here now. Nothing big enough to really brag about, but um, caught a few smallmouth bass. I uh, didn't have the camera going at the time, of course, but like I said, they were they were maybe half pounders. They were nothing serious. And tried a bunch of different spots. So I think we've got a couple of spots we can return to now, at least in Halifax, if we have to, but I will say this. The fishing in Halifax does not compare to the so sure at all. Anyway, it is what it is. You gotta do what you gotta do, I suppose. <sighs> yeah, so anyway, I think that's gonna be the end of the video. Like I said, wasn't much worth catching. Cut maybe some ticks. Um, so we'll check back in another time, and for now, we'll call that good. We'll catch you next time.